Where success goes. Success does not necessarily go to the person who has the most elaborate plan. Success goes to the person who takes a plan and puts it into action. Success does not usually go to the person who can take a few noisy, impressive strides. Success goes more often to the person who steadily puts one foot in front of the other. Success doesn't automatically go to the person who starts out with the most resources. Success goes to the person who makes the best use of whatever is available. Success goes not to the person who makes the biggest promises. Success goes to the person who reliably follows through on promises. Today is your opportunity to put your plans into action. Today is filled with moments in which you can put one foot in front of the other and move steadily forward. Today you have the chance to follow through on the things you have promised, and to make the most of the good things that are available to you. Use today wisely, and success is yours. Success comes from commitment. 100% commitment. Yoder said it best, there is no try. There is do or do not but there is no try. Committed people don't try, they do. When they fail they take stock of the causes of the failure, learn what they can, make a new, better plan and try again. I've often heard that relationships are a 50 to 50 deal. If you do your part and the other person does their part then it should all work out. That might sound good but when was the last time anything worked out when someone gave it a 50% effort? 50% effort doesn't get it done, it doesn't get anything done. Successful relationships require a 100 to 100 commitment. When both sides of a relationship are 100% committed to its success then you have a real chance at success. It's like that in every part of life, business, sports, achieving goals, your own health. Whatever the case may be anything less than a 100% commitment makes you vulnerable to failure. Success comes from commitment, a commitment to do. The best of intentions and the best thought out plans mean nothing without a commitment to take action. Commitment is not easy so don't be afraid to ask for help to stay committed. Find someone who cares enough about you to hold you accountable for those things you've committed to do, or not to do. Ask them to help you stay on course. This is where a coach or mentor can really help. Share your commitments broadly, let lots people know about your commitments. Yes, that adds pressure but the pressure of accountability is one of the keys to success in any area of your life. One of my favorite analogies for commitment is the breakfast analogy. If you had bacon and eggs for breakfast this morning then two creatures made that possible. A chicken was interested in your breakfast but a pig was committed to it. People interested in something are often deterred, people committed to something seldom are. Are you merely interested in your success or are you committed to it?